In the previous two videos, we learned how to create a simple drum set in the mapping editor and created loop sequences with the script editor. In this lesson, we will learn how to create new groups in the group editor, velocity layers in the mapping editor, and apply insert effects at the group level for our instruments. Let's begin by creating a new instrument. Toggle over to edit mode and open the group editor. Now what we are trying to achieve is specified editing per group. Let's open our band folder and choose a drum set sample folder. Such as the Studio Break Kit. Now what we see are multiple instances of cowbells, shakers, tambourines, and so on. What we're going to do is create groups for each drum and several instances over a set of velocity layers. Any sample we map across the keyboard will be assigned to this group. Let's rename this group Shakers. Just double click in the group name and you can type in the new name. Now this specific sample folder contains 12 Shaker samples. What we want to do is include all of these samples over a small amount of keys. How do we do that? we create velocity layers. Let's map out our four keys containing three samples each. Shift click on the top three shaker samples and drag and drop them over C1. Contact has now created three separate velocity layers, so when you play C1 at a low velocity, you trigger one of the shakers, and when you play it at a higher velocity, you trigger another one. Let's map out the rest of the shakers over the next three keys. Now we'll move on to tambourines. Before we begin mapping, let's create a new group in the group editor by clicking Create Empty Group. And we'll name it Tambourine. We can map these out three by three as well. The last zone will have two velocity layers. Let's now close our mapping editor and add some group insert effects. Now that we've divided our zones into groups, we can now apply modified settings to each group without affecting how other groups are played. Let's scroll down to our group insert effects module and add some effects. We can do this by clicking the plus button in the effects boxes or dragging and dropping from our modules window. Either way works. Let's now make sure edit all groups is turned off and we're working solely on a group level. We can apply some lo-fi distortion to the shakers. Also, let's take the tuning down in our source module. Now the shakers sound like this. Let's now select our tambourine group. Contact also comes pre-equipped with factory preset effects. Let's choose one from our lo-fi acoustic drum loop effects list. Let's choose insect. Now when we play back our tambourine sounds, they sound like this. One last point involves output assignments. You may assign outputs at the group level as well. By clicking the output button in the lower right hand side of the amplifier module, we can route the shakers to channel strip 1, 
and the tamarines to channel strip 2. In the upcoming video, we are going to look at the wave editor. Please complete the following assignment.